Okay, so let's talk about other electrical fixtures mounted in your underdecking ceiling system. Uh, refer to the section where we showed you how to bring power down for a ceiling fan. That would be the same technique that you'd use if you wanted to install, say, lighting or other electrical fixtures underneath your ceiling. Remember, the important thing is that you've got to keep the, the hole that the feed wire comes down through waterproof, and you do that by filling it with caulk as you're pulling your supply power line down. Um, but that, that techni same technique works for, for lights, you know, whether they're spotlights, track lights, surface mounted lights, uh, speakers. Anytime you're trying to bring power through the system, you want to do it in the rib. The one caution I do want to make is can lights. Can lights are problematic. You need to make a very large round hole in the panel to get a can light to sit in there and recess. As a result, you leave very little room for the water to flow down through that panel. It has to work its way around two sides of that cutout for the light. As a result, we don't recommend you cut out for can lights with the system. You know, surface amount of lighting is great, but, but we do not see a good way to waterproof when you install can lights.